SADC heads of state of government have approved the proposed measures to address the sexual effects of COVID-19 on the regional economies. Joining us now via Skype is the Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Netumbu Nandiandaitwa. Good evening, ma'am, and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening and thank you for inviting me. Can you share with us some of the proposed measures for member states to contain the spread of COVID-19? Yes, uh, in absence of the vaccine, uh, SADC member states, like other countries in the world, in order to contain the pandemic, they are being guided by the protocol which are established by the World Health Organization. Among others, there is a need to strengthen health system in order to cope with the impact or to, in order to stop the spread of the pandemic. Uh, also, they have agreed to intensify the testing, the isolation, and the tracking, as well as to keep those who are found positive in isolation. Of course, they also agree to strengthen measures like uh, limiting the gatherings, in other words, to call for social distance, uh, the use of the masks, and of course, to ask individual citizens of the region to take individual responsibility to curb the spread of the virus, while also understanding the need to slowly open up the economy. And this is demonstrated on the agreement that exists between the uh, country of Sadat on the movement of goods and services mm -hmm. uh, across the countries. Uh, also, the SADAC have to link up with other regions like the East Africa, the North Africa, because of the intra-trade, which is in line with the Africa uh, trade uh, agreements. Mm -hmm. So these are the mechanism Mm -hmm. that African head of states have agreed on in order to contain the spread of the virus. Well, of course, they are developing mechanism of recovery. So these were the main elements mm -hmm. which were discussed in as far as the COVID-19 is concerned. Now, we understand that um, the summit received an assessment report on emerging security threats in the region. What has been agreed on? Uh, yes, there is quite a number of security threats in the region. Uh, COVID-19 is one of them uh, because uh, with uh, its impact on the economy, whereby you have so many people, including the young people who have lost their jobs, and those who are in, unemployed. And because of impact in the economy, it is very difficult for the SADAC economy to create new jobs. And that has become a security threat in itself, whereby if not properly handled, the young people of the region can become a target of radicalism that can then bring violent and terrorist activities in the region. Mm -hmm. Of course, the region also received the report on what is happening in Mozambique, which is a great threat to the region. SADAC has been considered as one of the peaceful region for years. And the SADAC heads of state and governments are working hard to, con to maintain that but the challenges are very high. Uh, the social media is uh, another threat to peace and security, particularly the fake news 
that is uh, all over the places. And if our people are not properly informed, mm -hmm. they can become victims of such fake news. And definitely it is instabilizing factor mm -hmm. in the region. So that is why the heads of state agree to keep informing one another and to coordinate and to make our people aware of such maneuvers and to resist any temptation to be caught up such in such situations whereby instability could become a norm in the region. So that has to be prevented by all means. Now, on the issue of, of external interference and fake news, with, which you've just alluded to, and which was also discussed, especially in um, the electoral processes, what measures were proposed as possible solutions to this? Uh, yes. Uh, one of the measures is to have civic education. It's very, very important. Uh, and also to ensure the participation of the youth and women in our democratic process. Uh, similarly, it was also found necessary to strengthen our electoral process and those bodies that are interested with the elections in the region to ensure that there is transparency and then mechanism to be put in place to ensure that there is a clear campaign as well as the funding of political parties. So much of it really is civil education because contesting of elections is one element used in order to create chaos and problems in any given country. Well, we'd like to thank you so much for having taken the time to join us this evening. Thank you very much, Sadek citizens, Namibians. We should take care of ourselves. Everything is in our hands to contain the pandemic. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Nandi Ndaitwa, and stay safe. That was our Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Netumbu Nandi Ndaitwa.